Today I'm going to show you how to connect to a MySQL database using Java and NetBeans. I will also be using um, PHP My Admin to manage my uh, SQL database. First we're going to want to create a new project. We're going to select a Java application and it's going to call it YouTube Test. Okay, we now have our new workspace. Now I'm going to go to the website mysql.com downloads community I'm going to look for the uh, mysql connectors uh, connector j for java and I'm going to do platform independent and we're going to download the zip files archives we're not going to log in or anything but it's going to download the actual files let's download these real quick Save time, I'm going to drag it to my desktop. I'm going to extract the files. Now, the file that we're really looking for that we're going to use during this programming is uh, the jar file, MySQL connector jar. Uh, just keep that in mind, we'll use it shortly. Okay, now I will attach that jar file to my project. So I'm going to go back to NetBeans, right click, add jar folder, my desktop. The MySQL folder, MySQL jar file. That's now part of my project, as you see here. Okay, now I will clear out these comments that uh, NetBeans automatically generate. And I am going to copy and paste uh, the variables I need in order to connect to my database. As you see here, I have uh, my username as root. Uh, password as root, uh, connection string, and then uh, the connection screen is uh, JDBC, MySQL, localhost. Uh, I have port 3306 uh, in the database is YouTube. So where I'm getting that information from, my port anyway, is localhost uh, port 8889. So I should probably correct that. See eight 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 nine, and now I can start writing the script to connect to the MySQL database. Okay, we're gonna start writing our connection script. Connection con equals null. Okay, I have an error. Okay, uh, import. Okay, JBD. Okay, so I'm gonna write an import statement to import the that MySQL library that we uh, linked up to earlier. So import Java uh, SQL. Uh, okay, we're gonna just import everything. Java, help me spell that right. Okay. So we're gonna try try catch statement. So try connection. So con equals driver manager dot get connector. Con string equals username password. System dot out print line. Right, connect it if we uh, if it works. If it doesn't work, I'll write a catch statement. Uh, SQL exceptions. It's going to be E. Okay, I spelled that wrong. Systems dot error dot print line. We'll print the E for the exception. And that's if something goes wrong. Okay, let's try to run this and it looks like it works. Awesome. So now I'm going to go back to PHP my admin. As we see here in the users, there's nothing currently in the database. So we're going to write uh, 
update statement to input the data. So statement equals stmt equals statement connection connection create statement string f name equals chains string last name equals brown string insert is my insert statement so insert into put in YouTube one quote parentheses user for my user table we'll import the F name statement Last name statement, close those up. Values, these are the variables we just created up, up top. It's gonna be F name, last name, So statement equals I'm going to execute a query. Okay, so this is going to update the tables. Insert. So we're going to insert the insert statement we just created a few seconds ago. Okay, I'm going to run this. Great, was successful. We'll go check the PHP my admin run everything in the users users go and we have James Brown which James is probably spelled wrong uh, update it right now <laughs> um, I hope this helps um, if you have any questions just let me know